speedo guide clipper guards okay i started out with these 15 years ago in barber school um i ended up getting these and i liked them more than i liked wall especially considering the fact that back then wall had no half guard or one and a half guard but anyways the benefits of speedo guide guards are number one a lot of them not all of them but a lot of them they have more teeth than uh walls and andes okay so the more teeth uh they tend to grab the hair a little bit better another benefit and this one's huge for for me at least you know like i use both wall and andes you know i'm not just stuck on one you know i i use what works you know i'm not loyal to any one you know i just want the best of the best anyways so but what's cool about the speedo guide guards is um they fit on both it's very convenient another benefit is they do not fall off when I'm cutting hair, okay, with one exception, okay, so the downside of these uh, guards is, number one, the shorter ones, look, you see that right there, the, um, the teeth of the clipper, especially, the, the more zero gapped your clippers are, the more it's going to do this. But they, the teeth will actually eat at the, uh, the guard, you know. So, uh, yeah. So if you have, if your clippers are zero gapped, you might not want to close them 100%, more like 95%. Okay, that's one downside. Um, can't think of any more offhand. But uh, so now. Now this is very important. If you get uh, Speedo Guide clipper guards, you're gonna want to study at length the exact sizes of these things. Because if you look really closely, they are not the same sizes as Wall and Andes. Wall and Andes, they have very similar sizes okay so now if you look at these like like this this is actually supposedly smaller shorter than a wall half guard okay because a wall half guard is 1 16th okay but a speedo guide triple zero Okay, it's supposed to be 132 or 132nd. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. But anyways, they definitely have different sizes and they are different sizes, you know. But uh, yeah, and it almost seems to me, so if you look at the way that I did this here, you notice that I don't have them lined up right in front of each other. And that's because it's, it's like the Speedo Guide guards it's almost like they go right in the middle of each wall size okay so like for example you know the wall no oh something else very very important speedo guide guards basically don't have a number one okay the speedo guide goes from this is where it can get a little confusing but uh, to keep it simple, they don't have a number one. It goes from, let's see here. So a wall or Andy's number one is three millimeters. Okay, now Speedo Guide goes from a double zero to a zero. The double zero is 1.6 millimeters, okay? And then the, the zero is 4.8 millimeters, 
okay so a number one is three millimeters that that's a big if you're trying to do a fade that can definitely be a problem okay back in the day i didn't understand what the problem was but that's what it was there's no number one okay but yeah anyways if you get them you're gonna definitely want to study the millimeters of these and you're gonna want to understand their sizes you know so which are triple zero double zero 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 a one one a and then there's a two and a, and there's now a three and I think that's it um, I do like to use them you just want to understand the links